Well, I don't think anybody could improve on what Brian had to say. And uh, George, that was a wonderful speech. Thank you very much. I was in New York this morning until 4.30, and I left there and came down here to the, to the funeral. And I was going to come tomorrow as a governor, but uh, I found that I was invited to be a, a, as a president. So I'm very glad to be here today. <laughs> I've been um, friends of Zell Miller off and on for <laughs> for 55 years. He and I were both elected to the Georgia Senate in 1962, and we convened there in 1963. Zell had served, had served a, a term before I did, so he was an expert on state government, on the legislature and on the governor's race, and, and also he was very helpful to me and to all the other new senators who, who were there to serve with him. Zell was... Um, I think, as has been said already, an educator. He loved Young Harris College, where his uh, mother and father had both taught, and Zell was there for many, many years. Uh, I've just finished my, finishing up my 36th year teaching at Emory University, and he and I had a, a lot in common. Zell was very outspoken, as you know. I don't think anybody else would have thought about speaking as a keynote speaker at two different conventions. George, I bet he spoke, maybe if I'd got him to speak at my second convention, I would have been elected too. <laughs> but I remember both his L speeches. I never will forget them, as a matter of fact. And I'm sure that George and, and Bill will not forget them either. Well, he was an outspoken Marine, and he loved his country and he loves his state. I would say that Zell, more than any other governor who's ever served in the United States of America, has done more for our young people's education. With the uh, Hope Scholarship, <laughs> with the Hope Scholarships that Zell was father of, uh, we learned how to educate children from K through 12, and I would guess tens of thousands of young Georgians have been able to go to college because of the Hope Scholarships that Zell Miller uh, was, was responsible for, for creating. When I ran for president, uh, Zell and Shirley both joined in my campaign. Shirley and Zell both went to North Carolina and campaigned all in the neighboring state, and then Zell went to uh, Texas with uh, I think Lieutenant Governor Harvey and campaigned all over Texas for me as well. So I owe my carrying Texas and North Carolina, I think, to Shirley and Giselle. And I want to thank you again, Shirley, for that wonderful contribution you did to my campaign. Well, uh, we have a lot in common still. Giselle and I, the last, although we started out my political career together, uh, we wound up together as well. The last few years, uh, months, Zell and I have both served as trustees of Mercy University, and uh, whenever we could, we always found a way to sit together. So I agree with, with what has been said already, that one of the most wonderful public servants we've ever seen in Georgia, and a good friend of mine, for whom I'm deeply indebted, uh, is Zell Miller. So God bless all of you, and God bless Zell Miller's history, and uh, I'm sure that his history will grow in Georgia. Thank you very much.